There are still a lot of American dirt bikes out there even though you will mostly find old models because American manufacturers stopped operations. Most manufacturing plants you can find in America only assemble units made of foreign-made parts or even manufactures only one part, like an engine, for a specific brand. The USA no longer produces dirt bike models. ATK Motorcycle is the only existing dirt bike player in the USA, exporting parts from other countries of the world because they also stopped producing new dirt bike models. The USA made Alta Motors which was not established as ATK Motorcycle and it was one of the most well-known USA dirt bikes, however, it didn't last long in the industry. In 2007 it opened its doors and in 2019, the Canadian group Bombardier Recreational Products bought the company's assets. Most popular dirt bikes are usually made in Japan. The dirt bikes such as CRF, CR, CB, and Honda Trail bikes as well as all of its motorcycles are actually made in Japan and then shipped to the States. American Dirt Bike Brands He most popular dirt bikes are usually made in Japan but also Americans made dirt bikes back in the years. ATK Dirt Bike The main headquarter of the ATK motorcycles is located in Centerville, Utah. In 1985 they begin operating and produced two main series which are the Rotax and Cannondale. From 1985 to 1986 the first few models won many competitions in a span of one year, which was the 1985 ABC Superbikes event semi-finals, 1985 four-stroke nationals finals, 13th overall at Ascot TT nationals semi-finals, and 1986 CNC four-stroke nationals and 1986 four-stroke championships. Both Rotax and Cannondale have several models. The ATK manufactured featured the patented A-Track machine, formerly called as anti-tension ketanin treb and it's an engine with improved handling because of the chain torque elimination. Rotax, from 1988 to 2001. Improvements were made in the engine and the unit's body and frame, so this series is available in two-stroke 250 and 406 engines and four-stroke 350 and 604 engines. You also find two different models which are CC, Cross Country, and Middlesex, Motocross. Each model in other years was available with two different starter features which are called Kickstart and Electric. As time goes by, they made other upgrades such as better tires, eco-friendly features, self-cooling engines, and double exhausts. In 2001, the Rotax series last models were released and they are the 605 Enduro, 250-260 Enduro, and the 600 Dirt Tracker. Cannondale, from 2002 to 2008. Then come the other ATK series which was the Cannondale that included the upgraded versions of the 2001 Rotax models. Other models introduced were 702 Stroke and 450 Supermotard, 450 and 500 Dirt Tracker, and 125, 350, 450, 500, and Mini Enduro. Alta Motors Alta Motors was one of the most well-known American-made dirt bike brands and was not as established as ATK Motorcycles. In 2007, it opened its doors and in 2019, the Canadian group Bombardier Recreational Products bought the company's assets. But still, they maintain a legacy in the modern electric motorcycle industry. This Brisbane, California-based company had many electric bike lineups, such as 1. Supermoto, SM 2. Enduro, X 3. Motocross, MX the latter being the most well-known series, here are two models that made a name. Alta Motors Redshift MX. When compared with other MX2 and lights classes, Alta Motors Redshift MX had no air filter, oil system, and internal combustion engine. The unit has a 350-volt lithium battery that pumps up to 5.8 kWh of speed, a clutch-free transmission, and a lightweight orientation of 261 pounds. In addition, the Alta Motors Redshift MX has a PMAC motor with a max torque of 120 feet pounds and a maximum power of 42 HP and. It's even equipped with reliable Brembo brakes, a dirt track suspension, and a lightweight chassis. Alta Motors Redshift MXR. The Redshift MXR is the last electric motorcycle model which was released by the company. It is an upgraded version of the Redshift MX. Its motor offers a torque of 147 feet pounds, max power of 50 horsepower, and a speed level of 14,000 RPM. It's even worth noting that the MXR's motor has a water-cooled case, so you can be able to ride it even when the temperature is high. Another upgrade is its battery, which has two off-board charging systems called 3.3 kilowatts and 2.7 kilowatts, so when using a 240-volt charger, 
it'll only take 1.5 hours to get 100% battery power, but when using a standard 120 volt charger it takes 3 hours. It will need not much maintenance due to its waterproof and dustproof design. The unit's engine control unit, AQ, has 4 maps which are 1. Sport 2. Eco 3. Performance 4. Overclocked So it depends on you which map you tune the unit in, the battery can last up to around 4 hours when it's used in the woods, while 25 minutes when moto crossing. In conclusion, very few American dirt bike manufacturers existed and they didn't have worldwide distribution. The ATK is the only American company that mass produces dirt bikes and they use many parts made by overseas manufacturers. In the late 1960s and early 1970s, the Japanese conquered the dirt bike market. The few USA players still in the business left the field and then now the major Japanese motorcycle vendors dominate it.